Hello, and welcome to my week one fantasy football recap. Um, basically, what is going to happen here is I'm going to uh, talk about how I feel about my players from this week. Uh, now, as you can see, I was able to come out with a win in week one. I did, I feel like, play a semi-decent team this week, too, because, um, this kid's players are pretty good, but, um, fortunately for me, and unfortunately for him, some of his players, uh, underperformed, like, uh, Tom Brady, for instance, only scored 15 points this week, so, um, I was definitely, uh, lucky to have that, although I did win by over 20, I was projected to win by over 40, almost 40, I mean, and I did only win by 23, to be exact, um, I was led in scoring this week by uh, Marshawn Lynch, who uh, got the week, started off my week on a high note on Thursday night, giving me a uh, a very solid 35 points. I'm pretty sure he led the league in scoring this week. Um, besides maybe Matt Ryan, I think Marshawn Lynch did um, did have the most points. Um, what else? I was absolutely destroyed in the wide receiver battle. Uh, AJ Green, his one receiver, outscored all three of my receivers combined. But uh, we knew wide receiver was going to be a big problem for us, but I didn't expect it to be this big of a problem. Uh, Victor Cruz, especially, is going to have to do better than four points. Because four points is just pathetic. Um, eight points from Tory Smith is no good either. Thirteen from Deshaun Jackson is about what I'm expecting from him this year. So, yeah. Um, Zach Stacy. The, Bra the Rams were being blown out and were forced to throw the ball. So, um, he only wound up not getting a lot of carries. So, he only got me 11 points. Thankfully, I still won the wide receiver, the blah, running back battle this week because of Marshawn Lynch's 35. But I didn't win it by as much as I, uh, was expecting, because he had a uh, Adrian Peterson, who is just an absolute animal. Uh, going to tight end, Zach Ertz got me 16, and um, Zach Ertz is he's he's gonna be a good tight end this year. I have a feeling because he's just he's a humongous red zone target. And the Eagles are going to put up a lot of points this year. Going to kicker. Sweejum. Yeah, he had a good week. 13 points. He uh, outscored all of my receivers except for Deshaun Jackson. Outscored one of my running backs. So, uh, outscored both of my defenses. So, Sweejum... Susan's 13 points were were big, I could say. Definitely made an impact on this week. Normally kickers don't make that much of an impact, but when they when kickers are scoring in double digits, that's that's a definite impact. So um yeah. It's good for that. My defense is Did uh pretty well, pretty uh, actually my defenses didn't do good or bad I would say. 
Kansas City had a, I'm going to say, worse than expected week, giving up 26 points against the Titans. And the Steelers' defense was doing good until that third quarter happened, and they allowed 24 points in one quarter, which is something that we have to definitely uh, be aware of in the future if we're going to be giving up 24 points in a quarter to the Cleveland Browns. Uh, going down to my individual defensive players, this is where I actually probably won this matchup because Jared Mayo was an absolute beast. 25. 25 points is a lot of points for an individual defensive player. And if you see where he's matched up against this Jones kid on Oakland, he got zero. So 25-0, I won there in that. And then if you go down to my other individual defensive players, Dansby had 16 and Brandon Spikes had 11. His, his three defensive players... Combined, only had 10 points. So, this is where I won the matchup this week. My individual defensive players made up for the the suckiness that is my wide receivers. So, all that came down to a 205 to 182 victory for me in week one. I am starting off the season on a on the right note and um I'm one and oh. I am currently in fourth place in the league. I um I don't call me. I am in fourth place because I am scored the four, only the fourth most amount of points in my league this week. And I blame that directly on my sucky receivers. So um, we're definitely going to be looking to maybe put in one of my bench receivers because Terrence Williams outscored all of my receivers this week. I'm pretty sure he had like 15. And um, maybe look for some receivers on the waiver wire for next week because I can't deal with my receivers only scoring. My receivers scored less than 30 points this week. The three of them combined. So that is definitely a problem that we are going to have to address soon. Sooner rather than later. And... Uh, that is all I am going to talk about for now because my mother is calling me and texting me and being annoying, so I should probably answer her. And until next time, good luck, have fun, and be safe.